Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said would be insane for Ukraine to be willing to give up occupied territory in remarks he made at a White House news conference with U.S. President Joe Biden on December 12. Biden said that he expects to see Ukraine in NATO in the future, but right now we have to make sure that they win the war. Zelensky faced a skeptical reception from key Republicans during a trip to Washington on Tuesday to seek more military support against Russia, but he won a pledge at the White House that the U.S. has his back. Republicans have been reluctant to sign off on a funding request from Democratic President Joe Biden under which Ukraine would receive $61.40 billion. House of Representatives Speaker Mike Johnson, a Republican, said after meeting with Zelensky that Biden's administration must provide more detail about how the money would be used. Їх вбивали, і ми це прекрасно знаємо, і тим голосам, які пропонують віддати наші території, як віддати своїх людей. Питання ж не тільки в землі, питання в живих людях, в їх судьбах, в історіях їх, питання в цих сім'ях і в дітях. Віддати територію, віддати дітей, ну нехай ті голоси, я не знаю, хто про це говорить, у мене до них одне питання, чи готові вони віддати своїх дітей в руки терористам. Думаю, що ні. We want to see Ukraine win the war, and uh, as I've said before, winning means Ukraine is a sovereign, independent nation, and it uh, can afford to defend itself today and deter further aggression. That's our objective. It hurt our national security. You want me to answer the other question? Thank you for your question. Uh, I will answer very quickly on this very complicated question. We are not allies till now. We are not we are allies, but we are not members members of NATO. So that's why I think I will pass this question to <laughs> our big friend, President Biden. Well, look, I'm very proud that. <laughs> how strong and unified NATO has become. And now it's even larger. I, uh, Putin wanted the findalization of NATO when I met with him in, uh, in, uh, in Geneva right after I was elected. And he's gotten the NATOization of Finland instead. And NATO will be in Ukraine's future, no question about that. But we, as we said in Vilnius, Ukraine will become a member of NATO when all allies agree and conditions are met. Right now, we may have to make sure they win the war.